on Double D, Derek Dimes, DefeatTheBook.com. Let us help you beat the odds. If you're new here, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Either way, thanks for tuning in. I can't do what I do without you. So thank you for being here. Every video will always start with gratitude. I'd appreciate a thumbs up, a subscribe, click the bell so you're notified. If you do none of those three things, it's all right. I'm just glad you're here consuming this content. If you're not following Bryce, make sure you do so. He's on a nice heater here. I believe he was 7-2 and two yesterday, not or er, overall coming in yesterday. Not sure what he did on the day yesterday but he's doing very well nine dollars and 99 cents you get everything he has for the entire week no gimmicks no games um he's doing very well and just wants people to hop on board so nine dollars 99 cents you get him for the entire week all sports nascar mlb um golf as well and whatever else he decides to throw out he's been dabbling in hockey i believe as well so make sure you check bryce out tiktok and twitter is mainly where he operates all right we came off a nice free pick win yesterday it was our only pick of the day only selection of the day uh, we had the Warriors on the money line, nice, or not money line, I'm sorry, we laid the six points, but the Warriors was a nice win there, three unit selection you got here for free. So looking to give you another one here, get back to back, start to rebuild some momentum here, and tiptoe our way into things here. Now we're going to talk about another playoff game, you guys like NBA, we're going to try to keep it rolling for you, try to keep giving you um, good content here on this channel. So let's get into it without further ado, wait, first things first, sorry, Cinco de Mayo, happy Cinco de Mayo, promo code Cinco, C-I-N-C-O. Gets $10 off my extended weekend. So basically, instead of $34.99, you get $24.99 today, tomorrow, and Sunday. Today and today only for Cinco de Mayo, all right? Happy Cinco de Mayo. So let's get into it here. 7.30 game, Celtics, Sixers. Sixers are coming off an absolute beatdown. Not sure I've seen a worse half of basketball from them in the second half there than in, in all year. I mean, that they played all year just looked abysmal in a game where Jason Tatum only scored seven points they lost by 30 plus so uh just an absolute massacre and excellent shooting the story of that game was the return of Joel Embiid I thought there was a little bit of hype we were on the over in that one it didn't cash I mean if the Sixers did anything offensively um they would have been able to, to catch that over for 16 points there in the third quarter pretty much was the story of the game um and Joel doesn't play the fourth a lot of the starters don't play the fourth quarter it was just an absolute route uh, Celtics make 23s, 15 of 16 from the free throw line. Sixers go 6 of 30 from a three-point line. I'm sorry, 20 of 51 from three for the Celtics, if I misspoke there. Um, rebounding is always tight, and Al Horford did have a great game as well. So I'm expecting some big adjustments. I thought there was a bad uh, transition from the way they play without Embiid to the way they do play with Embiid. I honestly didn't really want Embiid to come back. I thought they should have waited until game three. But he hasn't played in a while. He needed to get his legs. He needed to get his win. Um, and coming off the MVP, his first MVP and our first MVP here in a while. Um, so I think he just wanted to get back into action. So I'm looking for a better opportunity for them here in this game. We look, take a look at the side. It's two and a half. Two point, came out at two, moving up to two and a half, favoring the Celtics. Obviously, a lot of people jumping on that Celtics train after that beatdown. We know that they're capable um, when they lock in. They have that explosion offensively where they can make 20, 25 threes. We've seen it, and that was a game that we've seen um, the last time out where they just they couldn't miss. Malcolm Brockton had a big game. Um, Jalen Brown had a big game there. As I said, Tatum didn't have a good one, neither did Al Horford. But coming into this game, really nobody played well for the Sixers. I'm expecting Friday night, packed house. This is going to be a great game. Over under set at 214 and a half. I'm expecting the defensive intensity to ratchet up here for the Sixers. I'm expecting the offensive intensity to ratchet up for the Sixers. And I'm expecting them to come out here and, and give their best shot in game three. I'm going with the 76ers here on the money line. They're two and a half point dogs. We're taking on the money line, a little bit of plus money, plus 120 as the official free pick of the day. You got to respond here. You took, you got, you got hammered there in Boston. You come back home, got to defend home court, got to get things back going and get the juice flowing and momentum on our side here before we move into game four or this thing can get out of hand and ugly very quickly i'm going with this philadelphia 76ers on the money line plus the 120 is my official free pick of the day guys happy friday happy cinco de mayo it's Derek. da 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 dimes defeat the book.com let us help you beat the odds best of luck if you decide to tail but either way hope that you guys had a fantastic friday good luck